about Pat, and this is Melissa Arma with the StockSwish.com and a reviewing QCOM. QCOM was an amazing gap today. I did not do this out of the gate. Here, let me get rid of this. I did do a late play in this, though, today. Oh, I really wished I would have gotten this immediately. But it fell off a planet in the afternoon as well. This was so, so weak. It couldn't even rally. What happened? This actually ended up opening and swooshing <clears throat> and fell. Fell hard, rallied up, and this is not an amazing time of the day to take a trade, but actually right around here, around the lunchtime period, you can. What is a better time here is into the 2 o'clock period, from 1.15 to 1.30 at 2 o'clock. Anyways, I did this trade. I actually shorted QCOM here, put the stop tight, 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 over 52, and... I, I, I wish I would have done the morning trade. For some reason, greatly, I think I should have done the morning trade. Okay. Because it was bullish. And the market is bullish. But I did do two things this morning anyways, but there were four watches. You could have done all four. Of the four watches, three worked, one didn't. And actually, you could have done, you could have done three of them again. It's it's just really whether or not you really want to trade all day. I guess I guess that's what it comes down to. But this had a huge move late. You do not always get something like this to move this big this late. So, anyways, the entry short in this was fifty one seventy one. That was over fifty two. So it's thirty cents with the cushion. And, and I got to tell you, this is an amazing move for stock to go this at this time of the day. For stock to drop more than $2 that late in the day means it is falling off a freaking planet. And, and that is what happened with QCOM today. It had an earnings. It was an earnings gap. You don't, I, I mean, I do gaps for lots of reasons, but I will tell you that this configuration, once it happens, it won't look back. Now, let me just go to the one minute. I, di I didn't do this out of the gate, but I'm going to see what this first. Yeah, let's see what it is. Yeah, it's opening swoosh. High was 56.76. Low was 54.76. Amazing. I should have done this right here. I did do it in the afternoon so every once in a while you get afternoon trades and you could have done one in QCOM today and two of the other things but the morning move is always the best always the best nice gap here in QCOM this was the biggest mover of the day almost seven dollars that's that's phenomenal in fact let's just look at the daily chart here today was the biggest fall in this chart. Look at that. Let me see what's going on here. To deal with this tomorrow. Let's. I'm gonna follow up on a video on this probably this Saturday. I, I, I'd be really interested to see what this does. This this is one more day to prove itself, or or it's done. It's killed. But we'll see. I I'm not gonna count this as a break of fifty because it's only at eight cents. So we'll we'll just see in here. Anyways, great gap today in QCon. You could have done the afternoon trade. This is Melissa Armo with StockSwish.com. Have a great day, everybody.